let's think about it. Let's start with home services marketing. It's very easy to do home service marketing to get a lot of good results. And uh, generally these are more high ticket sales. Uh, it costs in the thousands of dollars to work with one of those companies that are doing, maybe they're doing exterior modeling, maybe they're doing interior modeling, but it pays a lot of money. So, and it also pays to be able to one, get clients for them or two, get jobs for them, right? Leads, baby, right? So anyways, um, I was like, okay, where am I gonna start finding these people, right? And so I would just start like going into every gas station. I noticed there was like advertisements. I'm like, man, if you're advertising on like gas station, either you do know what you're doing and you're very consistent or you don't know what you're doing and you, need, and you absolutely need help. So that's what I did. I was like, man, these people probably need help. When I was at coffee shops, I noticed the same thing on those cork boards, right? And then when I was leaving like gas stations and grocery stores, I was like, man, there's these like print ads everywhere. And it's like, if they got money for ads, they got money for you, okay? And I was like, man. And then I started doing some reach out. I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna stay within my service area and I just wanna build a portfolio. And like, it just, it all happened like a complete domino effect. How absolutely these people were like, oh man, that, that's cool. Like you're willing to do this for a reduced price? Yeah, well, hello, uh, sales meeting when I come to deliver because boom, here's my service list. Give me a call. We've had some wins with some local clients and we'd, we'd love to. And if you haven't, you know, hey, we would love for you to be our ground zero, zero client and we'll give you a great price on it. But um, there was a few times I didn't even sell it on a low price, okay? Normally it was a reduced price or free, just a portfolio bill. It was always harder to sell somebody that took your uh, work for free in the beginning. So just be aware of that. If you do work with clients, um, you know, even big companies, um, either they're going to be like, well, we contacted so-and-so for that. And that was great last year. You know, let's see if they can do this this year. Okay. You don't always have to sell on low price, but I'll tell you what, when you do the portfolio build, just keep it in your mind that when you work with clients for free, just those three to have professional boundaries, um, that it's going to be harder to sell them because they got it for free the first time. And yes, you're a business, but it's just going to be all around hard to sell. So, you know, do that to build your portfolio, but don't do it if it be ultimately a client that you really want to land, okay? Have it be a really cheap reduced price and say, hey, this is normally this, but since I'm just starting out, wanna build my portfolio, hey, if you just share this on social media, you know, take my company, great, you know, that will help, okay? So ultimately having these professional boundaries with building your portfolio and working either three for free or three for a reduced fee, something I completely made up, but it makes sense to portfolio build. And then to put your work over on social media and YouTube, um, just as like, you know, your professional portfolio, cause then you can just send somebody a link. Hey, just go check it out. You know, see if there's anything on there you like. Um, plus we're not limited to that because we also do X, Y, Z and we don't post our marketing results on there. Um, but for me starting out, it was like, okay, well, I want to take something I'm for sure good at and just sell that. Okay. And that was a way for me to align with other popular brands and businesses and for them to share my stuff, me to share their stuff. And then for me to like, let's say three months later, I'm going for clients, right? Well, I'm posting about something I did months ago, you know, on my personal page. And I'm just like, man, these pictures turned out great, you know, whatever. Or, um, I can't, you know anything you're doing for marketing, I would just, you know, talk it up like how thankful I was that they chose to work with me. I don't have to disclose if I got paid or not, or even if I did it for a reduced price. It was just the point of positioning to ultimately take the authority position in my niche. And it absolutely worked. And um, it is it has been just critical to my success starting out. Um, it has been critical to others' success um, while they were still in college and then, you know, to give them the confidence to go out and like, oh my gosh, like cold call. And I'm like, yeah, yes, because you can reach a person and get an answer like that. You are going to be doing times a thousand in email um, before you get a response because um, email response rates like, come on, come on, come on. Right. Although there is great ways of doing email response. It is a secondary thing. It is not something that, you know, think about it. If you were to pay somebody to be your outreacher, what would you want them to do? You would want them to cold call because you can get somebody on the phone or you can get a decision maker's phone number and you can connect with them. Okay. And anyways, so having, like I said, having those professional boundaries helped me position my company and help me build a team and help me get to the bigger money, to big money. And then it helped me ultimately establish, you know, um, 
you know, mar- market dominance, you know, to become the thought leader in your position to where I started helping other marketing agencies. I started helping them with a custom strategy. They would then pay me to write a strategy to get them clients and I would charge them a few thousand dollars. Like what, what, whatever? Are you kidding me? Another company that I would think wouldn't want my help, right? Or maybe they had advanced knowledge somewhere else at the time, but I was just better at getting clients. So because I was better, they were noticing that. They were like, damn, you know, that's why I never posted, oh, we did this for free to build a portfolio. Man, we left all that crap out. And we're like, hey, thank you, XYZ Popular Company for choosing us. Uh, we got, you know, and then to now it's like, we got, oh my goodness, I'm just so thankful and so happy for this opportunity that I have to tell so many people that want to grow their social media marketing agency or just add my, add my playbook basically to boss as your strategy to add six figures to your marketing agency. Uh, it's absolutely worth it. And you know, there's even been like a handful of other business owners that have come through and that are just like, okay, we'll just like group me on a call for business owners instead of the marketers. I'm like, okay, great. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Um, you know, like, hey, you have access to a call with me, um, you know, for 45 minutes once a week for a year. Don't you think you would only need my help for a couple months until you start the ball, get it rolling? I check in with you and then boom, once we got you dialed in, you won't even need me. That's the point. That's the type of marketing that we do. You know, we are so good at what we do now because we we don't want to be the agency or the marketing company that you need our help because we got our claws in you, you know. That's never been honest to me. That's never been, you know, 100% upfront. And I just feel like a good company is going to want to retain you because of who you are, what you bring to the company, and then that you can help lead their team as well. You can lead that multimillionaire because you have something worth it or you have this personality that helps enhance their company. A lot of times you are not like you don't owe that boss anything. Yes, you work with them, not for them. But you're not like an employee who feels like they got to like always kiss ass because that's the boss and you can tell them when shit sucks like hey like you know sidebar hey like this really sucks maybe we should work on this or maybe i'm just overthinking it or maybe i don't know what i'm talking about you know but they love it business owners love it when you pull them and you tell them hey look like i don't think this is working out or i don't think your team is doing this or i don't think this is happening here or i think this is getting overlooked here maybe we should focus on this also what am i missing right you know, just some help, helpful feedback for each of you um, is just been a reason why you don't need to be some crazy multi, multi, multi millionaire to work with a millionaire, okay? Or a six figure business or an eight figure business. My God, the 10 million or more. And um, it has just been completely just the best thing you could do for popularity positioning. It is, it is literally a, co- a, a term that I have coined and made up because I saw this happening to myself. And I'm like, what What would you call this? Like, if I could, like, put a stamp on it and, like, help people get clients, what would I call that? Oh, popularity positioning, right? And it's like, I will give away so much information to help you. And, I mean, even, even my phone number, 920-404-1015, Send me a text if you want help, okay? Send me a text if you want to go look at all my testimonials at basic2boss.com. You know, and if you're thinking about working with me, you're not going to need my help for as long as you think you just need to get kicked off with a blueprint that works, absolutely be held accountable, and then help you develop the social media habits for your success, the successful social media habits, right? Um, whether that's getting clients posting, um, delivery, client maintenance, new clients, getting other people in your business and like how to pay for them, how to structure as you scale, right? All things that I've went through. Now, this ultimately by working with the best companies in your area, doing that popularity positioning, helping them get to the thought leader in their niche um, helps you do the same, okay? So when you raise somebody up, you go with them, okay? Now, could, what would have happened if I would have worked for crap companies that nobody knew, that nobody cared about, or had a bad reputation online? Where would I be right now? Okay. But I had a commitment to better. I had a commitment to caring for my clients. And since then, it has just helped me help them. And in return, we grow together. Okay. So popularity positioning at the end of the day, it shortened my sales cycle and it helped me become more popular in my area, become more known to now to where it's like, I'm thankful for this, but my whole circle 
is bosses or business owners or people who are just want better for their business, for their clients, vice versa, you know, and it's just been a crazy ride, but you can have these results just starting. And the thing is, is it is so easy for you to start. It's just a little bit of confidence, a little bit of kick in the pants to get your asses moving and to get out there. Guys, you do not need to be a millionaire to work with these companies. I can't stress that enough, but by providing an elite level of service also becomes, you know, an elite price sticker, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that because business owners will see the value in that, okay? Sometimes even when I'm calling and let's say I, I get a meeting and then I get a meeting after that, the second meeting, and they let me know, like, let's just say it's a phone call. Oh, well, we've decided to go with someone else because they're cheaper or because ultimately it's normally because price, right? Well, this is the way I handle that, okay? I tell my my outreach people, I say, hey, when you hear this, you say, okay, well, I'll tell you what, we've been here a few times and we know how important it is to check up with you in six months um, just to see, to make, you know, just to make sure you are still hitting your goals that we talked about. Because if you're not, I think at that point, it's worth the price sticker we have for the results, okay? That has been able to pull people back and they're like, wow, like, you know, they're thinking, you know, wow, this guy's not mad. These people actually care and they want to help me. That's right. So once you just care a little bit more than the average agencies in your area, that's right. Um, you are going to notice a huge uptick in clients. Your social media game is going to go crazy. Everybody's going to love you. But it will take a little bit of time. But to get to that first money, it is really easy. It's a very short road to getting profitable within 30 days. I want to help you at BasicTheBoss.com. My phone number is 920-404-1015. If you've got questions, if you want to go to Basic the Boss, check out my testimonials. I am telling you, we are going to hold you accountable. We are going to have fun. We're going to put you in the live calls. You get time with me, access to me, and I'm doing it right now. But the point is, I want to help you. So this is why I have been just really helping people all the way down to giving out my personal number and to just saying, hey, like, let's have a conversation. What does it look like taking action right now or next month or in a week? Or how about this? We have a payment option for you, you know, and we can offer it at this price because this isn't all we do. We have a whole creative agency, okay? I just want to help you go from basic to boss, the high income skill set, getting your first few high ticket social media clients. It's easier than you think. And that we have... We just have some complete fire in these groups, but that's where you're going to get the most help. Even if you're a business owner, catch you in the next one.